it gets back to what Connell was saying, folks. What did Hollywood know, and when did the entertainment executives know, and how much did they know, and, and how much were they covering up? It was oftentimes considered as sort of a standard inside joke that wasn't so inside the Hollywood community and so many award show and the likes when they would just joke about Harvey Weinstein uh, and all of this. Antonio uh, Sabato Jr. joins us right now. He's an actor. He's running by the way, for Congress in California. Uh, by the way, we did reach out to Julia Brownlee, the uh, Democratic incumbent, Hope Springs Eternal, we can get her. But to Antonio right now, you know, here's the one thing, I, I, I can't grasp the dimensions of this and how wide and how many people it's affected and how many supposedly knew about it. How does that happen, Antonio? Listen, Neil, uh, we're at a time right now where we don't see any protests whatsoever from Hollywood, from the elites, from people like George Clooney and uh, the studio executives. They should be protesting, like they protest against our president every single day. This is a disgrace. I ask everyone, I actually urge everyone in Hollywood to come toward me, with me. We can work together at VoteAntonio.com so this does not happen again, ever. This has been going on for years. Well, what would you do? Let's say you made it, it to Congress. Well, let's say you made it to Congress. How would you stop it? What would you do in I Congress talk, to stop this? I would really talk about this. I would try to reach as many people as I can in the higher places. So in the work, in the work that we have in Hollywood, these things does not happen again. We have to protect people and we have to allow people to open up about things like this and not be scared because if they're not going to get their job or their contract is going to be canceled. We can't allow this to happen. This is too serious. It's affected a lot of people. A lot of people have been in danger. I mean, we're talking about rape, and nobody talked about this in Hollywood. And they call themselves uh, the way of the future. We want to help everyone, peace and peace that. No, no, no. This, this is serious. And we got to fight for this. So if people want to fight uh, and they're up there in Hollywood, come, come with me and let's fight this fight and win it. Well, what, what, it's what, would, you push for, would you push for any any actions or laws against it. So there actually are laws on the book to prevent I would, this sort I would, of thing. But, well, there is laws what against this. But what would you do specifically? I, Neil, I would specifically ask everyone there would be contract in place for any of this conduct happens. It doesn't matter who it is. If actors, producer, executive producers, owners of the, of the studio itself or whatever, we have to protect. We have to put people in place in these studios who watch over people getting sexually harassed on a daily basis and especially on sets. All right. Antonio, thank you very much. Antonio, uh, My pleasure. Uh, Sabato Jr., actor running for Congress here. Uh, again, to any and all entertaining that office, including its present incumbent, Julia Brownlee, we'd love to have you on. You are always welcome here.